Hello and welcome to today's video. We have a special car here. This is the Jeff Gordon Rainbow Exalta car that was raced at Bristol, <clears throat> which is based off of the old Jeff Gordon Rainbow cars, obviously, because that makes sense. Um, so, basically, the boxes are all like they always are, saying the driver's name there, Jeff Gordon, and then the team, Hendrick Motorsports, on that part. You can obviously see through. There's the car. And the top of it, we're going to talk about the car. A little fancy little code, you can win stuff. And this here tells what it is. The 24 Exalted Rainbow. Um, 2015 Chevy SS. And there's a fancy little barcode. Oh, nice barcode. Because who doesn't like barcodes? Oh. And there we go. So now I'm going to take it out of the packaging because what's the point in leaving it in a package, you know? Right. Who cares about value? <clears throat> Let's put it back in. You do realize we have two. Oh. That's why I said who cares about value. Because remember I gave you one. So, here's the car. And we're going to have a special guest here tell you about the car. Here we go. Now we get to talk about this car. And as you can see, it ha on the side here you have a lot of interesting things going on here. You've got, of course, the iconic, iconic number 24 in his long run there as driving that car. And you have AARP, which happens to be one of the more recent sponsors, 3M, actually even more current sponsor. Uh, and then you go back here, you have two of the old-time sponsors, Exalta, which was the old DuPont, and Pepsi, who has been with Jeff Gordon for a very, very long time. And then on top, the classic, you're going to have is 24. And then Asbury Motor Group is across the back of the hood. And then the drive to end hunger. And then, of course, Exalta. And then this side is the same. And in the back, the Asbury Motor Group. So those are the different things for this latest and greatest of the, the paint schemes. Then you can go back in time to some of these more older ones. And... You have that one there. You have this one. This this, this is a Chevy here. Best back when the, with the Rainbow Warriors. You That's see the Monte the, Carlo right there. The Monte Carlo, and it has the Dupont. Okay, and you can see that even even the paint scheme is, is a little more metallic and whatnot. Okay, so you have these different things on there, and then on the side the GMAC, which was a, oh, and Pepsi. GMAC was actually a big sponsor back. In the 90s and early 2000s. Then they sponsored the 25 car for a while too. And they did all that stuff there. And then you have all these different ones here. Okay. All the different. Uh, mostly more oh, with the old. Blaze. 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 They were really big ones. Kellogg was, was a big sponsor for Hendrix. But they don't, don't appear. That on five the, car. Onto this car. But they'd be appearing on the other cars. And then you go back. You go back in time. Oh, do you want to Some look? of the older ones here. There you go. Now this is one. This is from the uh, 1994, back when they were Luminas. I thought he was a rookie, right? Uh, not, not, he was. Uh, yeah, wasn't he rookie? Yeah. yeah. And so this is this is this car here. You can see even some of the colors on that one. Uh, and then again, Snickers. You see on the back, Snickers being one of the sponsors. And then on the side, you'd have again. It was the the GMAC, and you know. So they've been long time sponsors. Of Jeff Gordon and then here's another one an older one here that has it's kind of a special car that is for the toy side of it anyway you can actually put it in there and you can, shoot the thing you can press the button and it launches forward. Yeah, and it goes off on there but they have all the different sponsors again this the basic GMAC and it's a slick 50 which is very very popular back then putting it in there an automotive thing Quaker State Quaker State was a real big sponsor for you know, the, the, the Hendrix team, and this is back when they had that really bad experiment with with Chevy, with the Luminas. They were really pretty, but they were very, they, they had a good streak with them. Dale Earnhardt drove them, and uh, but it was really, okay, and you're going back to the more modern car, but if you're going to go back, and being that a Jeff Gordon, right from the beginning, when he first started, it was... Probably one of the, the best memories happening was back in February 22nd, 1997 at Daytona. It was a great race that happened. And actually, 
uh, Kellogg's made a special edition T-shirt that you could get only when you bought Kellogg's cereal. You had to have a certain number of uh, box tops you had to mail in, and then you would get a T-shirt like that. And I remember wearing that when I went to Loudon, and everyone was like, "Oh, where'd you get that shirt?" They were, everyone was very excited about it. And the shirt on the cover, all it was is just a round kind of a, a picture, and it showed Jeff Gordon winning his first Daytona, being the youngest Daytona winner at 25 years old. At the time, yes. At the time. And he was followed by Terry Labonte and Ricky Craven. So it was a big thing that Hendricks, it was the first time they came in, one, two, three. So that was a real, real special thing. And it was really special because at the time, Rick Hendrick was battling with leukemia. So he had, so he was, it was kind of a neat thing. They won it for the, you know, for the owner. And, but again, it was the first, the first big Daytona race for Jeff Gordon. And so it was really a special thing, and it started off a really nice long career for Jeff Gordon and for a great, great success over the, the next 20 years for Hendrix Motorsports. Followed up with the likes of all getting championships for Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Uh, Terry Labonte won a championship during that time. So it was really kind of a, a, a neat thing, kind of kicking all that off. But it was pretty special how they got the win, the one, two, and the three. So that's pretty much my bit on Jeff Gordon and the importance of his career. It'll be kind of a, a sad thing when he left, but he's going to go off and you can hear him when he does the Fox broadcast. And he's going to go off and, you know, spend time with his children and make a lot of money broadcasting, hang out with his supermodel wife, and go on vacation a lot. So, so that's, how you get to, that's how you get to retire as a big champion. So my question is, is that's the older memory that you have, right? Some that you remember from years ago. What's more of like a recent thing that you remember in the past couple of years, maybe? Maybe like the last 10 years. That's something that you might remember <clears throat> that was like a big thing. Well, I think that the big race last week, that was, that was pretty good. Martinsville? Yeah, the Martinsville race was good. Kind of, he hadn't won and it was really a very important thing. I think he really, 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 really wanted to win his last year. And he gets actually gets a chance. He gets a shot. He gets to go to Homestead, and he gets a shot at winning the championship. Yep, he, he advanced to the championship round from the Illuminator Eight to the championship four. So he gets to go in there, and he's got. That's all you can ask for at this point is to have a chance to win the championship. So it'd be kind of a, a neat opportunity that if he does does go out as a champion, you know, going uh, that's kind of the way to do it. Some people like. Uh, you know, join people like Ted Williams, who when his when he retired, his last hit was a actually his last at bat was a home run. So it's kind of you know nice to go out you know in a grand fashion. So so it's kind of a good thing. So I think it'll be really exciting for Jeff Gordon fans for that that Homestead race. You can watch and see if you get a you know you see if it gets a championship the last time. It'll be kind of good. I mean, I think he has a shot to win the championship. Well, now they're going to have all these weeks to get the car ready. Yeah, they got two weeks that they can sit and prepare. And it really, it depends on who he has to race. I mean, there's a lot of people that could could be good. But he definitely has a good shot of the four. They could be there. Oh, yeah. And he get his car set up nice. <clears throat> I mean, it'll have to be Kevin Harvick, but, you know. Well, that's, you know. We're not going to get involved in this right now, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Um... Wow, wow, wow. Well. So anyway, you can go out and enjoy Jeff Gordon in his in his final his final races, you know, and then twenty four it'll take a little bit of time before you know, you have it that number in the you know, going to the, the glories that it's ex, you know, experienced over the last twenty some years. But Jeff Gordon's the only driver that's ever won with that number. So no driver's ever won with the twenty four except for Jeff Gordon. So, we'll see what Mr. young Mr. Elliot can do with it after this point. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the Napa car next year. Exalta will be on the 88 car. Oh, um, that'll be kind of different. Yeah, the 88 car is going to have Nationwide and Exalta as the main sponsors. And obviously Mountain Dew in there a bit. So the 24 car is basically just going to be Napa most of the next year. I'm assuming 3M will be in there because they signed a contract until 2017. So they might be on the car a couple races, but most of the time it's probably going to be Napa. Hmm. So the Napa 24 car. 
Exalt on the 88 car. Very interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> also, we got a, a, a neat little picture back here for anybody that can. Now hold the pool. Let's take the camera off here for you. See that right there? Kind of a neat thing. Anybody who's watched was watching racing in the 90s got to see those guys go, and it was kind of a anybody that was following racing either as the intimidator. You know, and he was the epitome of old school racing, you know, the good old boys and, you know, real, the guys actually turned the wrenches on their cars at some point. And then there's the new guy with the more, the modern era of racing where they were kind of groomed from being little kids, you know, and so it was kind of that thing going back and forth. And it was together, those guys, when Dale Earnhardt started, you know, Chase, and he was doing that, uh, all the NASCAR products, he had actually they joined forces with Jeff Gordon, who at, at that point happened to be probably one of the, his, those were the one and two was the most popular drivers as far as people buying merchandise. So they kind of joined forces and created Chase and was able to, you know, make hats and the jackets and the t-shirts and the sweatshirts and whatnot. They did invite a few other drivers along. Uh, to be part of investors in this it, uh, big venture, but those are the two primary guys. You know, so so at, at back in the mid '90s, there's no two two bigger racers than those two. So it's kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. You know, kind of, in, you know, it was kind of like the old the old way of NASCAR, making way for the new you know the new style where everybody's being. You know, everyone's grooming people up to like Joey Logano, where they just, you know, they're they're still messing their diapers in their, in their driving cars. Yeah, you know, Joey Logano getting mad about getting wrecked, but you know, um, either way. With that too, you get to you get your whole life being trained to win and all that stuff. So, you big babies about it, you know, and you probably spend a lot of years winning and you know not used to losing. More people wrecking them. As funny as that may be. Yeah, so that's the end of the video, I guess. You got anything else to say? That, that is that is it. I am all set. And so everybody enjoy Jeff Gordon. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the video. And um, we got some more cars that I'll be talking about for you guys at some point. Uh, we got another Jeff Gordon car that I'm going to tell you about. The car that he won Dover with last year, I got right here to talk about. Um, so this in here being the Driving in Hunger special one. I'll be talking about that one in an coming video at some point. Yeah, it's appropriate that he gets to join AARP as he gets older. <laughs> yeah. He's still so, too young to join, but what the heck. They might so, give him a special, you know, special edition AARP card. Yeah. So he gets discounts that he doesn't need for travel and... Tell me. Yeah. Thanks for watching.